I think I'm just about ready now. Uh, the, one of the second reasons I grew this beard was to experience it. I mean, you get 80 plus years in your life, you at least want to spend some of that time experiencing what your body can do. And my body can grow a beard. I fight it every day by shaving it back. So I wanted to experience this. Um, I've enjoyed it. I've actually done this moustache thing, which I've never done. Oh, look at that. It's like a Frenchie. Oh, moustaches. So I've never done that before. I've never been able to run my hand through my facial hair. So I have enjoyed that. But in the end, when you make the decision to shave your beard, it needs to be entirely your decision. This is your body. It's entirely up to you what you do with it. As long as you're not hurting anybody else, then their opinions are simply opinions and don't have to dictate the things you do with it. So here we go. Shall we continue? Here's a good example of how long I got it. Hello and welcome to my Emporium! I don't know why it's an Emporium. I just figured people with moustaches are in emporiums. I didn't realise my head kind of looks like a potato. I go for the Charlie Chaplin moustache right now, but I don't grow hair in the middle. So my first reaction is... I kind of don't recognise what I'm looking at. look younger. I don't think at the moment I look as manly. I'm hoping I haven't lost my strength gains. My chin looks a whole lot smaller and my nose looks a whole lot bigger. Well, I did it. There's my baby. I can't put you back on. Oh man, it's, it's actually pretty up. Now, okay. First experiment, I'm going to be able to tell you what it's like to push your face against your own facial hair. So I'm going to be in the role of my girlfriend. Oh look, you're so manly and beautiful. I don't know why I just got that accent. Kiss me, kiss me. Mm, you smell so good and you feel so soft. Yes, love me. Yeah, it's a little prickly. I will give it a... But no poo. There is no poo in my beer. But there is no poo. But there is no poo in my beer. Please don't wake me from this nightmare. 